Hello everyone, this is Tricky, and welcome to episode 6 of our creepiest Pokemon fusions. If you are new to my channel, this is a series where I cover cool, creepy, funny, cute, and pretty Pokemon fusions. The main reason why I do these fusion videos is to promote very talented artists, so your job is to go to these amazing people and give them your support. On screen right now are the viewer fusions. Fans of the series can submit their own art to me and have a chance to have their picture featured in one of my videos as long as they don't steal or trace other people's artwork. If you send me artwork that isn't yours, please try your best to find the credit. I know that sometimes the credit is not there, but try your best. If you don't do that, I will come to your house and well, that's illegal. But anyway, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter, send me your art, and include the hashtag TrickyFusions so I could find it easily on Twitter. I definitely loved looking at all these. All of you did such a wonderful job. And even if your artwork isn't in here, I still appreciate all of you the same. Now let's go ahead and get to the creepy stuff. Taking our number 10 spot, we have a Petalil and a Drudigan fusion. This was drawn by Wanderbrack, and though its design is pretty interesting, I can't get past how spooky its expressionless face is. In a way, it's kind of funny because it has that little face. It's like, ooh, look at me, but even though I could pretty much cut you in half, this thing would definitely rip you apart. Use your remains as fertilizer and then giggle about it, even though it has no mouth. Give it time, it will giggle. The artist did a fantastic job with this fusion, though, and I love how the two Pokemon are a very unlikely pair. I really want more fusions like this. The name given to this fusion is Dredalil, but it could also be Pedadrodigan because it sounds cool. Moving on to number nine, we have an Omastar and a Rapidash fusion. This was drawn by Bad Dog Wars Friend, and this critter needs to burn. I don't like it. Well, then again, Rapidash is a fire type, and Omastar is a rock water type, so fire probably wouldn't do anything to this thing, will it? That kind of makes me a little bit depressed. Maybe a gun? Well, you can't kill a Pokemon with a gun, that's not very nice, but anyway. On top of it having tons of resistances to common elements, it has quite the lovely face, and you could totally get acquainted with it. Maybe he could give you a smooch. Well, it'll probably suck your face off and then you'll die, but my point is, its mouth is freaky and I don't like it. Then again, we really shouldn't be judging on appearances. Maybe it's a nice mutated alien horse thing and it just wants to give pony rides and give out candied apples. I kind of want fan art of that. That would be hilarious. You should never judge anyone by their appearance unless they're a spider. A name for this fusion could be Omadash or a Rapistar. <laughs> a Rapstar. Eminemadash. Perfect. On to number eight, we have a Pinsir and a Charizard fusion. This was drawn by Avendaya, and I'm so sorry if I mispronounce her name, I'm trying. But anyway, they did a fantastic job with the nightmare fuel element. Now this guy isn't nice at all. He totally wants to kill you. It's mouth, man. It goes all the way down its belly. Please kill it. <laughs> That's not very nice. This definitely reminds me of a Dark Souls boss. Of course, the gaping dragon has a bit of a larger mouth, but there's something awful about seeing an oversized mouth with razor sharp teeth. I don't like it. Like the gaping dragon, it may look a little bit normal with its mouth closed. Maybe it will look like a little tiny mouth dragon, but it's all a lie. It will chew on you and then you will die. The end. Moving on to number seven, we have a Zorua and a Chandelure fusion drawn by Little Raid. One thing that I always see in scary games and in horror films is creepy children and dolls. They make it so much worse. Though it's kind of cute in a way, it kind of looks like a possessed toy with horrible intent. It definitely looks like it was stitched together exactly like a doll. So let's put some lore together, shall we? Being consumed in Chandelure's flame burns up the spirit, leaving the body behind and forces the victim to wander the world forever. Ever. There are a few possibilities of what this may look like. Maybe a Chandelure took over a dead Zorua's body. Maybe Mimikyu wanted to help. What if Mimikyu made a body for it and then Chandelure just put the soul inside of the doll so it could still live on in this world? Or it could simply be another Bandit situation. But that's only if we want to make a backstory for it. Right now, it's just a fusion, but that's the fun in art. You can let your imagination take you anywhere you want. A name for this fusion could be Shendoria or Zorlore? That's kind of cool. At number six, we have a Ghastly and a Machamp fusion drawn by the Elka. What a happy face. Don't trust it. Well, no, I'm kind of imagining him directing traffic, and now I'm smiling. <laughs> I think he would be good at it, unless he made all the cards flip over and then everyone died. It's like Final Destination all over again. Though this fusion is creepy, I love the color combination and the glowing face. It's such a cool feature. It resembles a spiritual fire. And thanks to Danny Phantom, I feel like every ghost ever needs to have fire or plasma coming out of it because it just looks really cool. Look at Ember. She's awesome. She's freaking cool. I miss Danny Phantom. Bring it back. A name for this fusion could be... 
Machampley. That's stupid. Uh, gas a champ. Gas a champ. Oh no! Don't gas anyone. Mugju. Mug. My ass, Lee. Ignore that, please. Taking our number five spot, we have a. Oh. Ew. Why is a freaking snake horse getting under my skin so badly? Like, what the? F this thing is terrifying. This was drawn by Ratty Arps. Why? It's creepy wonderfulness, but why would you draw this? I think I'd rather be stuck in a room with a pincer and Charizard fusion than this thing. It's weird. Ugh, kill it. Everything about this is just unsettling. It makes me wonder if the artist intentionally made it to be scary, but if they did, they succeeded. Good job. A name for this fusion could be Freaky Horseworm or Epidash, Academic, Ekadai, I don't know. At number four, we have an Arbok and a Rapidash fusion drawn by Takathra. I feel like I said that wrong. Again, I apologize for mispronouncing anyone's username. If the last fusion was an Ekans and a Ponyta fusion, then this would have been the most amazing evolution ever. But the last one was a Rapidash fusion as well. Now that I think of it, we have a lot of Rapidash fusions today, don't we? <laughs> Anyways. While this one is pretty spooky, it's honestly the only Pokemon on this list that I would not mind having on my team. You gotta admit that it's pretty freaking cool looking. It reminds me a bit of Cuckoo Con if it had legs and a fiery headdress in place of the feathers. But I could definitely see this as a poison fire type or a poison dragon type even. I could definitely see this thing being a dragon. I could also see it flying through the sky like an oriental dragon and its fire just spreading everywhere and, and just covering the sky with embers and stuff. It's really, really cool in my head. I would totally be proud to ride into battle on the back of this thing. But if it wasn't on my side, I would probably cry because it would murder me. I would die. Dead tricky. Bye tricky. Dead channel. Farewell. Moving on to number three, we have a <laughs> All right, that's enough of that one. Moving on to number two. Unfortunately, I am kidding, and we have to go back and talk about number three. This was drawn by Shy Guy Art. Why? They have drawn a beautiful Paris and Eevee fusion just for us. We want to thank Shy Guy Art for providing us with such a beautiful critter of joy and wonder. I'm sure everyone would love to have this thing in your home to read your bedtime stories at night, to scrub your back when you bathe. Tea party, perhaps? Don't mind the fungus. Just don't touch him or you'll get infected and die. But no pressure. Everything's gonna be okay. Look at the innocence in those eyes. I'm sure he has a good reason for killing everything that you've ever loved. I'm sure it has a wonderful reason why it chewed your leg off. Don't be mad at it. Embrace it. It's nice. Let's move on to number freaking two. All right. Okay. Anyways, at number two, I've decided to include three fusions, since they all include the same horrendous Pokemon, and all three were viewer fusions submitted to me. And since I'm not a professional YouTuber whatsoever, I'm just gonna do it anyway, because that's what I wanna do. First, we have a Mr. Mime and a Muck fusion drawn by Lim Wei Min. I'm really sorry if I butcher your name, but anyway, this literally looks like a rotten zombie, Mr. Mime, and I'm really upset. Why do you hate me so much? Why? You know I'm terrified of Mr. Mime. Anyway, this thing wants to eat me. Still on number two, we have a Mr. Mime and a Bellsprout fusion drawn by Jiggle Pixel. I love your name, by the way. Oh lord, some clown leaf guy with a big mouth and empty eyes. That's just what I want to see come out of the darkness. That's exactly what I want to freaking see. I'm mad. Not really. Mr. Sprout, please don't come to my door. I don't want to buy anything. Just leave me alone. And finally, we have a Mr. Mime and a Pinsir Fusion. This was drawn by ISN Animations. And on top of Mr. Mime, it has a gaping mouth. You are a cruel soul. These are also scary, and I love all of you. Thank you so much for submitting your wonderful art, even though I'm gonna have nightmares for the rest of my life, but it's okay. I appreciate all of you. Now, before I reveal number one, while I regain my composure, I would like to remind you guys to check out the Fusion playlist and the art credits in the description below. If you enjoy this series, be sure to subscribe for more and check out all the others. Anyways, Taking our number one spot, we have a Scyther and a Zubat fusion drawn by Inquisian. By the way, I really try to find all the right credits for this top 10, so if I mess up, please send me a message on Twitter so I can fix it as soon as possible. So anyways, this guy has such a lovely face, and we kind of get two fusions in one because we see the pre-evolution before this, before he gains his wonderful blades of death. What if you wake up and this thing's right in front of your face? What if you're walking around your house at nighttime and you see him in the window? 
What if he's at the store? Well, I don't know why he would be at the store, but you gotta be prepared for everything. I recommend a flamethrower and a taser and maybe a slingshot. But in any case, all the details on this art is actually really, really good. I love detailed art like this. I really just loved all of these. Even though they're terrifying, I still love all of them. But anyway, those are all the fusions that I have today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did like it. Um, I could have worded that a little better, but every like really does help out. So if you would like to submit artwork to me, feel free to send it to me and I can try to help you out. Here are my social links. You could follow me if you want to. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.